So the next physical property you're going to learn today is luster. And luster is simply the appearance of how reflected light looks on a mineral surface. And so we're gonna go ahead and uh, break it down into categories and subcategories, as you will see. So the first category we're gonna break it down to is really simple. Is it metallic or is it non-metallic? And if it's metallic, then we leave it alone and that's how we call it. But if it's non-metallic, we wanna subcategorize it into different uh, terms to describe what that non-metallic surface looks like. So I have an artboard here and you can see that here are some, here are the, here are some of the most common uh, lusters that you'll find on minerals. The metallic one is here. The rest are all non-metallic. And so let's start with metallic. We have here, let me get the light shining a little bit uh, brighter so that we can see this better. It just looks like a coin, whether it's silver or gold, it could be brass, it could be um, anything that has a metallic look about it, that is the metallic that we're talking about. So the next, the next ones that we're gonna work on are all non-metallic lusters. Let me just get the light a little bit better so that you guys can see it, okay? And this is the one that's gonna, this is the one that stops everybody up, the term vitreous. And so on the chalkboard, you'll see that the, the definition for vitreous just means it's highly reflective or glassy. And so if I have some quartz crystals here and you can see that they're very reflective. They're really shiny and light is just bouncing off of these things. And so people tend to mistake the look with metallic, especially if you have a black mineral that is actually not metallic, it's actually vitreous. So for instance, I have this, this, this mica again, and you see how highly reflective that is? People often mistake that for a metallic, metallic luster, because it does, it's so highly reflective that it does kind of look like metal, right? But it's not, it's in, actually vitreous, just like this quartz crystal, okay? And then the next one that we see is earthy. And earthy just simply means it's dull, flat, no, you know, there's not really a whole lot of light shining off. It looks kind of like dirt or soil or earth. And that's why it's, this, this, text, this luster is called earthy. The next one is silky, and that's also synonymous to fibrous. As you can see, if you come in closer, you can see that on this surface, it looks like a bunch of little hairs. And so we call this a silky or a fibrous texture. And then we also have the greasy texture. And I know that you guys can't get a true feel of it. I mean, I, I believe you guys might have one of these in your, in your mineral drawer. I have to double check. But you can see it's not just smooth, but it, it's kind of got a greasy feel to it. And not greasy like, like there's oil on it, but greasy like it's really easy for my hand to move along the surface of this mineral. Kind of looks like a butterscotch, doesn't it? Like a Werther's original. And so these are the most common lusters that you'll find. And um, how, we, I, how I want you to break this down is that I want you to tell me initially, is it metallic or non-metallic? And if it's metallic, you're done. But if it's non-metallic, then I need you to take that next step farther. And I need you to define if it falls under one of these categories. Now there's other, there's quite a few more um, categories that I didn't bring. I just brought forth the most common ones. And so if it's in your book or you, or you have, you know it, then go ahead and put it on there. But if, if it's not on there, then just put, uh, just, you can even use your own words to describe what you think the luster is if it's non-metallic, okay? And so um, you'll be given a few mineral samples to go ahead and, and try to identify the luster on. And that's it for now.